Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I am so sorry I have been MIA on my YouTube game and kind of on my Instagram game as well. I have been on vacation all week long, which is really nice because I am attending cosmetology school full time, so this nice week getaway was really fun. We actually went to two beaches and we had a blast. I spent the 4th of July with my best friend, aka my boyfriend, who's actually behind that wall watching TV right now. And we just had a really overall good time, but I knew as soon as I got home yesterday, I was like, I need to get back into my game. I am slacking. I'm not going to go anywhere if I'm slacking off. So here I am. Well, today's video is going to be using a palette I have not picked up in a while and I've been wanting to use it. It's actually going to be the Jaclyn Hill palette that I'm using today. Um, I'm honestly picking up this palette because one, I have not used it in a while and it was like my go-to palette for the longest time. And two, her Morphe palettes for the Volt collection got pushed back and I honestly give her really good like creds because she pulled that launch back because she wanted her fans aka me and everybody else who like worships her to have the best and I praise her for that kudos to you Jaclyn Hill like major respect because she just wants the best for all of her subscribers so I love her <laughs> so much we actually were one of the beaches we went to this weekend was actually in Tampa and like I was just like Jacqueline, Jacqueline, where art thou, Jacqueline Hill? Because I like love her and she's one of the main reasons I actually started my whole YouTube channel. Her and Laura Lee like really like inspired me to do this. So I was like, I want to meet her so bad. <laughs> but I'm still rambling. This is really just going to be a chit chat get ready with me using my Jacqueline Hill palette. It's kind of dirty right now. I apologize. Not really, I don't really care. It's okay, it's makeup, but we are going to dig into this bad boy and create a beautiful, like burnt orange, halo eye type thing. We're just gonna wing it today. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna wing it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, keep watching, and let's chit chat and get started. First things first, I'm moving my hair back because it is a mess. Oh, I look like a little boy when I do this. Okay, actually, first things first, for real, I'm gonna prime. And this is my Benefit Professional Primer, and I absolutely love this primer. It just hides all my imperfections. It's like, I don't know, it just blurs out. It just reminds me of the Cover FX one, and I love it. It literally is the best. Honestly, the other day, I was about to go put on makeup, and I had, like, primed my face. And then I was like, I'm not going to do my makeup anymore. But like the primer just gave me a really pretty smooth like effect on my face. And I was like, it looks like I have the most flawless no makeup face. And I was like, I should do this more often. But yeah, so I'm just focusing this on my T-zone. But you guys already know that because I use this primer all the time. <laughs> Next, it's time to do foundation. And I just wanted to say for like a little disclaimer, I have been using, I think it's the Jewelry Cosmetics. I want to say that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is this beautiful foundation right here. Sorry guys, my nails are nubs right now. I've been picking at them because like anxiety alert. And I just pick at them when I get nervous and I haven't got them redone. So they're really ugly. Don't judge me. And this one I smashed at work. But this is the Jewelry Essential High Coverage Foundation. This is one of the most high coverage foundations I've ever owned in my entire life. Like I have a full face of freckles and just a little pump and taking my Morphe 439 brush, it literally covers everything. Lately, I've been just sitting here and I've always felt like my foundation just kind of felt very heavy on my face. And that's something that I did not get with this foundation. It was very lightweight and full coverage and literally lasted all day. The only bad thing I have to say about this foundation is it hides in my smile lines. If you have this foundation and it doesn't do that for you, please let me know what you are doing because this one I feel like just hides in my smile, <laughs> hides in my smile lines 
and I freaking hate it. I feel like I look like I'm aging throughout the day. I look like I start at like 18 years old and then throughout the day I'm like 100. It sucks. So I'm actually not gonna pick up this foundation today even though I love the coverage that it gives me. I'm really sad. I even set it down with like powder and like setting powder around my mouth and it's still not working for me. That's how I felt with the NARS foundation as well. So I'm actually going to mix what I have been doing for the longest time. My Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. And my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. I love these foundations together rather than separate. When I do them separate, I feel like they just don't work for me. I don't know if that makes sense. But I just feel like they don't get the job done when they're by themselves. I feel like the Shape Tape Foundation Ox... I feel like the Shape Tape Foundation oxidizes throughout the day. But when it's combined with a super safe foundation and a lighter shade, it doesn't oxidize for me. It doesn't get darker. It doesn't dry my face out either. So I actually mix it. And this actually is a very good color combo for my skin because, like, I'm tan on my shoulders but not on my face. And it just works out for me. Also, if you're wondering what shade I am in the Jewelry Cosmetics Foundation, I am the shade Biscuit. They have a great color line in literally 50 different shades which i think is fantastic anybody of any type of skin tone whether you're super super fair or super dark skin tone they have your shade and it's fantastic they also provide you with a color wheel and a picture of the model before and after wearing it so it kind of gives you a good idea if you are ordering online what shade that you are like i just took a guess and mine's pretty dang close to my actual skin tone so i'm pretty happy but i am not going to film me blending this in. I look like I'm putting on a lot. I am, but I'm not going to film myself blending this in. So we will be right back with a creamy, ugh, I hate that word, creamy foundation -y base. So we're just going to pick up our concealer and I'm actually going to pick up the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light, but I'm also going to, I'm also going to pick up my NARS concealer and this is in the shade 2.75 i only put this on the bottom of my eyes so what i mean is when i'm highlighting my under eyes with my concealers because we are going to cover up those dark dark circles and them under eye bags because my eye bags are not designer they are like trash literally they're awful i hate my Dark, dark circles. I have not been getting any sleep, and I'm also going to put it on my eyelids just to prime, not get enough, to prime my eyes on the bridge of my nose, my forehead. I feel like this is just, like, essential in my everyday makeup routine on my chin and on my cupid's bow. And why I always pick up the darker shade of concealer, and this is my NARS one, I like to put it on the bottom layer of the concealer on my under eyes just to blend it better into my foundation so it's not like way too light underneath my eyes. Might not make sense. I love it though. But I'm actually going to pick up my Morphe sponge. This is dirty but it's okay. We are not perfect. We are all human and I am just going to dab all of this in underneath my eyes and on the rest of my face. Next I'm actually going to pick up my Laura Mercier setting powder because I absolutely love this stuff. It is one of the only setting powders that doesn't give my under eyes a like a white cast when I take pictures so she's staying in my makeup collection. I literally take this everywhere. I've had this probably for like two or three months and it's lasted me so long. I was using the Too Faced Born This Way powder and I just felt like it left an undercast underneath my eyes when I took pictures with flash. So I kind of kicked that setting powder to the curb and it's just in my drawer right now. I should probably just like get rid of it, but I'm like a makeup hoarder. I hoard everything. It can be like five years old and I'm like, mm, I might wear that lipstick tomorrow. Probably won't, but I'll keep it. But this is the best setting powder. I am dying to get my hands on the Hourglass setting powder that they came out with because it has had such great reviews, so I wanna try it out. But this one I feel like just gives me a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes, which I love. 
and it doesn't create any creases on my eyelids. If you do not set your eyelids down with a setting powder, try it. It definitely helps me personally blend out my eyeshadow a lot better. I'm also going to put this on my forehead to keep my wrinkles from creasing because I raise my eyebrows so, so, so much. So I'm going to blend that out. And like I do all the time, whether my foundation creates smile lines on my face or not, I always set down where my mouth creases when I smile. Now that I don't look all creamy and liquidy and everything, we are going to bronze up this face because I'm looking pale AF. And I'm actually gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This stuff once again like smells like heaven, but it also is heaven. This is something that is staple in my everyday makeup looks, makeup collection, I take this everywhere. I do not know what I would do without this. I think it's like 10 or 12 bucks at Walmart. If you don't have it, get it. They have a couple different shades. I just absolutely love this bronzer and I continue to rave about it. And I love putting it on with my Morphe R2 brush. It's nice. It's a nice big bronzing brush. But I'm just going to bronze up my face. I'm serious, y'all, though. Like, y'all really have to get this bronzer. It is amazing. The smells great. Like, I could sit and just, like, sniff this stuff all day long. That sounds weird, but, like, I could. But, so since we're just going to chit chat because I have so many questions I could ask you guys. Um, if any of you guys have ever had hair extensions, please comment down which ones that you use and which ones that you like the best. Because I want to invest in a pair. I'm also going to put this stuff on my neck, y'all, just to blend out. But I do want to invest a pair. I have, I have short hair and I love my short hair, but I also want to have, like, the best of both worlds and have long and short hair. So if you guys have like a set of extensions that you absolutely love and care about, help your girl out. I wanna know. And yeah, so now we're gonna contour. Once again, another product that is staple in my makeup collection, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It is beautiful. I'm dying to also try the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, but I still love my baby. The shade, obviously, you can tell is very loved because I've hit pan in it quite a few times. <laughs> if any of you guys have seen ABH's new release, they are dropping a new palette and it is gonna be launched on 717. So I'm super excited. I'm definitely getting my hands on it. The whole palette like looks just like the Soft Glam palette, the Modern Renaissance, the Prism palette, the Subculture palette. They all look exactly the same, but this one's purple and the top rows all shimmer shades, the bottom ones all matte shades, so I'm super excited. I have very high expectations for their palettes. I absolutely love their palettes, minus the subculture one. Doesn't blend as good as the rest of them because it is a different formula. I'm talking very, very fast. So I'm just super excited to get my hands on that palette. If you have not seen it, go check it out. I believe it's called Norvina, or I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's beautiful. I definitely want to get it, but I'm actually going to pick up my R10 brush from Morphe and take this middle shade and this outer shade and just contour up my face a little bit. Oh, I love this palette. Like, it just, it's just something I'll never get rid of. Honestly, y'all, if you don't feel like paying full price for this palette, Marshalls right now carries the light palette and the deep palette. So, if you are fair to, like, medium skin or medium to deep skin they actually carry both of these and they honestly carry the contour or the cream contour kit as well and it's like about half the price so if you don't have one and you want it for cheap go to marshall's or tj maxx they normally carry them as well i was literally just there this afternoon i hate myself i'm literally there all the time it's kind of like at ulta i literally should just have like my picture hung up in there the freaking customer of the year because I got moved up to a diamond member or yeah, I think it's called a diamond member and I was like oh like oh my gosh this is so crazy and then I like they give you a cute little box and a little gift and in that box it comes with a list of requirements like of who how did you get to be a diamond member and then I like looked at like how much you have to spend and I was like I spend that much a whole time <laughs> Like, I didn't even know I had that much money. Like, how is it possibly, like, how is it physically possible for me to spend so much money 
on makeup a year. I mean, it's definitely possible, 100% possible, because if you see how much time, like how much I'm in Ulta, or how often I'm in Ulta, it's freaking nuts. I'm actually picking up my E8 brush from Morphe right now, just to do these sides of my nose. But if y'all seriously seen how much I went Ulta, like I'm pretty sure they all know me by name at this point in time. It's nuts. Oh, now since our face is contoured, I am going to put some blush on my cheeks. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of blush. Mm -mm. It's like one of my favorite freaking things. I have to wear it every time I do my makeup. I don't leave it out. So I'm actually going to pick up the shade Gold Rush out of my Benefit Blush Bar Palette because this not only has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's like a light peachy color. But I'm actually going to mix it with the shade California as well just to give a pretty blush look to my cheeks. I love these blushes. They're just so simple, but like so beautiful they just do your face justice i feel like i have to have it at all times Ugh, i love blush y'all i for real love blush seriously if you haven't bought my favorite blush ever it is at ColourPop. it is the why hello blush it is eight dollars the blush bleh, the best blush of my entire freaking life i still have not been able to get over it it is like my baby but i also love my benefit blushes as well so that's what i'm picking up today and i'm kind of just deepening these up right now just because I just love extra freaking rosy cheeks I just love it now we are going to go in with our eyes and I'm actually going to pick up the Jaclyn Hill palette now finally and I'm actually going to pick up this shade right here that's the middle shade and it is the shade MFEO and I'm just going to pick a big fluffy brush up this is like literally the brush I pick up every single time without a doubt to put my transition shade down. This is the Morphe M504 brush. I live for this brush, y'all. Like, it's nuts. Like, I don't know what I would do without this brush. I'm so glad I have it in my collection. And now I'm just putting that as down as my transition shade. Next, I'm actually going to pick up the shade Pooter and Butter, which is these two shades right here. I'm just going to mix those on a nice blending brush from Morphe as well. I'm pretty sure I use like all of their brushes. I love them so, so much, but right now I'm just putting this all in the, why is my pinky up? <laughs> in the crease of my eyelid and I'm just deepening that up and blending it. And then after I put that shade in, I'm actually going to pick up the shade, I believe it is Roxanne, and it is this shade right here. And I'm gonna take it on the same brush and put that in to my crease as well. Now that our crease is kind of getting its blend on, I'm actually gonna pick up this like burnt orange shade right here. It is the shade Hunts, and I'm going to deepen up my crease with that as well on a more I don't know not as tall blending brush but a more compact blending brush and I'm just going to put that into my crease and I'm going to make sure I blend it more around my eye and as the product comes off I'm going to blend it upwards towards my transition shade the reason I'm doing that is I'm not trying to create such a high look with this orange shade i'm trying to keep it more low on my crease before we put in the last shade into our crease and for our last color to deepen up our crease i'm going to pick up this brush from morphe it is the m506 brush it is a very small and precise brush to get into your crease with if you do not have this in your collection i definitely recommend it if not you could always get a cheaper version of this brush somewhere else but i'm actually going to pick up this red 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 maroon shade Jax, and i'm going to mix it just a tad bit with the shade chip and we are going to put that in the very, very lower part of our crease. But once again, I said very little of the shade Chip. So I'm going to dab it a lot in Jax and very little in Chip. And we are going to create a nice little blended line. 
because this is actually going to be a halo eye. So we want the outer ring of the halo eye to be a lot darker than the rest of the eye. And even if you get this on your lid, it is a-okay because we are going to fix it with some concealer later. So no worries. And I am blending this upwards so we have a smooth transition. And I'm just going to deepen it up until I get the desired look that I'm wanting to achieve. Now, using those exact same shades that I picked up before, Jax and Chip, I'm going to put them on the corners of my eyelid to give us the star of our halo eye. Doing this just creates a smoothly blended look between the dark or crease and the corners of our lid because in a halo eye the corners are normally the darkest portion so I'm putting this on the inner corner next we are actually going to pick up our concealer and this is just going to be my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade light and any brush this is actually the end of one of my Urban Decay Naked 3 brushes it works well to cut a crease for me so I'm actually going to start creating the outline of my halo eye. To do this, you are simply just going to draw a line downwards because the halo eyes stay towards the middle. So I am going to go fairly high up into my crease, but where that dark age or dark color starts to end, that's where my concealer is going to end as well because I do want a darker line to show in this halo eye. This is really hard to talk while I do it at the same time. So basically a halo eye is just a spotlight in the center of your eye. No, it does not have to be perfect how you draw it because mine literally never is. I always just fix it with colors and hope for the best. <laughs> so I am actually going to just draw, it's almost like a half circle on your eye. Mine's not ever perfect. And I tend to take these lines on the very, very top a little farther down, just to be able to blend a little bit more. Meaning I am going to draw a line that goes farther than where my halo eye actually ends so I'm just drawing that looks a little crazy right now it's all good in the hood we are just drawing almost like a half circle but I'm just going to extend the lines because at the end of the day you can blend them and I'm kind of giving it a diagonal this actually took like 10 minutes for me to do like this one's looking a little crazy. This one's looking kind of good. As long as you got something going on in your eyes, just as long as you have a little bit of a dark color on your corners, you are golden. This is literally not a perfectionist thing. Mine don't even look even. They don't look the same. Who cares? We are just having fun. Makeup is an art. Like, be yourself. It took me forever. Who cares? So, actually, we're going to pick up this shade. Ah! trying to pick up I'm actually gonna go with this one right here it is more white and it's the shade beam we're gonna pick this up on a flat packer brush and I'm going to focus this on to the middle of my little spotlight I drew with my concealer because this is going to be the center of our halo eye you really have to make sure that you are not going into your crease with this color though as well so you got to kind of keep that round angled look going with this as well. No, it does not have to cover the entire spotlight that you drew out because you're actually going to mix another color on there as well. I personally am going to cover the entire thing just so I know that I'm gonna get in all the spots that I want covered with this color and I won't have to go back in with it unless I want to touch something up to make it look more even. But other than that, I am going to cover this whole little spotlight I drew with my concealer 
which is going to be the center of. After I have my little white shade going on, I'm actually gonna go back in and mix the shade Jacks and Chip back on the outer corner. I'm not gonna completely blend that into the white shade yet. I am going to give it a more smooth transition in a second, but I do wanna make sure it is touching the in, like, I don't know how to describe it. Ah, I don't know how to describe anything. I'm gonna make sure it is matching up with the deepest part of my crease, just so it has that type of smooth transition. And I'm just doing that on both corners of my eye. Also, remember when you're doing your halo eye, when you are putting colors in the corner or trying to blend it, the white shade should be going at like a V shape. So blend it at an angle. Next, I'm actually gonna pick up these two shades. This is the shade Hunts and Roxanne. That's what's gonna give us our orange effect. It's also going to give a smoother transition into the shade Beam from Jackson Chip. So I'm just going to pick it up on my brush and not only put it on my little red shade, but I'm going to blend it onto the white shade as well and at an angle. Once your halo eye looks something like this, you are on the right page. This one actually looks a lot worse, but this one looks pretty good. I blended it out off camera, and now we got the spotlight halo eye going, going, going. So now we're gonna do the under eye, and I'm honestly just gonna pick up a small pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36 brush. And I'm just going to take, I don't know. I'm going to take Pooter and Butter and put that as the first shade underneath my under eye and blend it downwards. Next, I'm actually going to pick up the shade Cat, I was about to say Catnip and I have no idea why jacks and chip and blend that underneath my eye as well Ooh. this look kind of turned out really good on this eye this eye looks more square than it's supposed to like it's supposed to be more round but it's looking a little squared off so i'm just putting this underneath now I'm going to pick up a super, super, super small brush, and it literally, it is the tiniest brush ever. It is the Morphe M213 brush, and I'm actually gonna pick up the shade Beam, which is the shade that is highlighted on my halo eye, this middle shade right here, and I'm going to plop that on the inner corner of my eyes and on my brow bone, just to add some inner corner highlight and some brow highlight. But I'm also gonna be super careful because I do not want this onto my matte shades that are blended in my crease and my transition. Now to finish off this look, you could either add mascara and go, or you can plop on some lashes. I'm extra AF, so I'm gonna plop on some lashes. Today I'm actually going to pick up lashes, and this is from the brand She's Blinking. Like, look how cute this packaging is. They actually sent me these and they are beautiful. This is in the style Drama Queen. I actually only have one lash in here right now because I was just measuring them out. They are so beautiful. Let me just pick one of the one that I have out on tweezers right now because don't mind my little nubby fingers. Like these are so beautiful. You can barely even see them in this. They are so pretty, hold on. Like they're seriously stunning. But I'm actually going to plop these on once this mascara dries, because if you do it when it's wet, it is just gonna be a hot mess. So tip and trick, let your mascara dry. But I'll be right back with some lashes. So I got my lashes on y'all. If you are looking for quality lashes for such a good price, you can go to She's Blinking. Not only is their packaging totes cute, but they are not expensive they're literally the most inexpensive lashes that are so beautiful and fluffy like i wish you could see how beautiful these lashes really are and i'm so thankful that they sent them to me 
you can use my code ZOOKXO for money off your entire order. Right now I have on the ones Drama Queen and these things are beautiful. They are so dramatic and like they're wispies. They are beautiful, but I also have this pair. This is called Worth the Wait and they are stunning as well. Literally, they are beautiful and I love the quotes that come on the box. It says, nothing makes a woman more beautiful than the confidence in knowing that she already is. I love it. We all need to be confident women in life and I think these lashes just give me even more confidence. So if you don't have any from She's Blinking, please go check them out. They are beautiful lashes and expensive. And I mean, hey, I got a code. You can save some money. But I just wanted to say I love these. Also, now we're gonna plop on some mascara to blend these together. I'm gonna use my roller lash once again and just make sure I am blending my real lashes into the ones that I wish were my real lashes. And I'm also going to plop it on my lower lash line as well. Does anybody else like struggle with getting mascara on their lower lash line? Because I sure do. I really do. Like I always end up smudging it and I'm like, Ugh. and yeah, that's just, I, I seriously can't get over these lashes, y'all. First off, you know I've been in the sun a lot when even my foundation won't cover up my freckles. Normally it does cover it up completely, but you can still see my little freckles trying to come through at all. I am going to add some color to my lips. And this is from Bobbi Brown. It's in the shade Bare Pink. And it is a beautiful nude lip. I'm just gonna put this on my lip and then we're gonna highlight and be done. This is so pretty. Okay, and I'm picking up my Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia. I am living for this highlighter. I still am, I use this all the time. And I used to love, 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 like I would not pick up another highlighting brush besides my Morphe M510 brush. I was like, there's not a brush that's better than this one. I found one that's just that good. This is the Luxie. Beauty 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. It's a lot bigger in size, not only on the like handle, but the brush part as well. But I feel like it does just as well, maybe even better. And I literally love how it gets highlight on my face. So I've actually been picking up this one over my Morphe highlighter brush. And yeah, but y'all seriously, if you have not got the Amorese highlighter yet, I think this is one of the best formulas of highlight that Anastasia has personally ever created. That's my own opinion. Might not be yours. You might have one of their glow kits and I'm like, oh my God, I love their glow kits because I actually rave still about their Nicole glow kit and I wish it wasn't limited edition because mine's like done for. It's all gone and I need a new one, but I can't find one anymore. And I'm really freaking sad because that was literally my favorite glow kit of all time. But this Anastasia Amorese highlighter better never sell out or go out of stock because it is my baby. I literally wear this highlight every single day. Every single day, unless I'm doing like a cool highlight with colors and I want like a colored highlight, then I actually love to pick up my Anastasia Dream highlighting palette because it has so many different colors in it. You can have like whatever color highlight you want. And they all have really cool undertones, so. Yeah, I'm honestly just trying to glow as much as I possibly can. I want to look like the Tin Man out of The Wizard of Oz with how much highlighter I got on right now. Now it's time to seal the deal with my flower seal the deal long lasting setting spray. This is from Walmart, y'all. Seriously, it is the bomb diggity. So like, go pick it up. Let me just, just set my face with this beautiful setting spray. It is a, for a matte finish. They also have ones for a dewy finish if you are trying to check that out as well. But this is my finished look using one of my forever babies, my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I honestly cannot wait to pick up her Volt once she, decided, once she decides to relaunch it. If you guys loved this tutorial, feel free to give me likes. If you don't, 
I mean, I guess you can give it a thumbs down. I really hope you guys give me some thumbs up. Feel free to comment, give me feedback, answer any questions that I ask during this video. I am in love with how this eye look turned out. It is a beautiful neutral tone, burnt orange halo eye, and it is stunning. I really love this color combination together. I really do. It looks great in this lip. I'm literally, you guys, this is my first time ever wearing this lip color, and I am living for it. It is just a nice, soft, peachy nude, and I can't get over it. I mean, it looked better with a lip liner, but I just didn't feel like putting one on. But this is the end of this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Once again, I am so sorry for being so MIA lately and off my makeup game. It sucks because you guys have been so great to me and stayed with me through this journey so far, and I hope you guys continue to do so. If you have not subscribed, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. If you wanna stay updated with every time I post a new video, feel free to even turn on my post notifications on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. If you have not liked my Instagram page, my Instagram page is at looks by Zook. I'm actually going to be starting posting hair stuff on there as well because I am a cosmetology student. So you will see all my haircuts and hair colors that I do on clients. And if you ever do want to book appointment with me, whether it's makeup or hair, feel free to hit my DMs. Or if you really do want a hair appointment with me, feel free to contact my cosmetology school, AKA Tanaj Salon Institute located in the villages. And yeah, you can also like my Facebook page, Looks by Zuck, if you are not on Instagram. And I don't really know what else to say. Thank you guys all for the love and support that you constantly give me and for always giving me so much feedback. I keep continually to learn. I keep continuing to learn from you guys and get inspired by you guys, whether you send me looks that you guys want me to create or even the positive messages that come through my DMs every week when you guys just motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing and I absolutely love it. It means a lot to me because sometimes I do get off my game because I am so busy with school and work right now. It's just nice to hear all those motivating comments that you guys send me. So thank you so much and thank you for once again supporting me on my journey. Hopefully I will be posting a new video soon. Just let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below. Leave me some feedback, leave me some love. It's really up to you. Feel free to like, comment, share, do whatever. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and love this look as much as I do. And if you can recreate it, tag me. I love you guys.